Hello everyone, today we'll go over how to copy files to Cloudian S3 buckets using GSH Copy360 Enterprise. First, you would create your S3 bucket with Cloudian, whether it's hosted on-prem or in the cloud. And then once you've got all your credentials and your S3 endpoint, you'll go to GSH Copy360 where you have it installed. You right-click and create a new job. We're going to skip the wizard. And then you give the job a name. So here we're going to say copy to Cloudian demo. And then you go where it says source type. This is where you want to copy from. In this case, we're going to copy from a local disk or a network path. But if we wanted to copy from another cloud provider, we just simply click the drop down and select the cloud provider we want to copy from. For the sake of this demo, it's going to be a local disk. And then you can specify where the source is, which is where you want to copy from. You can paste the path, or you can browse to it. In my case, we're just going to browse to it. This PC, C drive, we're going to select a folder called demo. Just got a small number of files just for the demo purposes. Then we're going to check the box that says copy as root folder. This is basically if you check that box, it means create the folder called demo and copy the content that's up to it. Otherwise, if you uncheck that box, it's not going to create a demo folder. It's just going to copy whatever is below it. Copy files instantly. And then we go to where it says destination. Destination is where you want to copy to. In this case, we want to copy or back up or migrate to Cloudian. So you click on the drop down. Select S3 compatible storage. And then before we click browse, we want to click on, we want to specify where you connect as is. In this case, we're going to add our credentials. This is when, when we got what we got from the portal. So we're going to click on the plus sign, give that credentials a label, Cloudian S3 bucket, or just Cloudian S3. The access S3 access key. We could go ahead and start copying. We copy provide the key. Just copying it here. And then we specify the secret key. And then we specify the S3 endpoint. So this would be the S3 endpoint. If this is hosted locally, then you would specify whatever it is your S3 endpoint is. Uh, in this case, we're using HTTPS. If, you, if it's using HTTP, then you would just specify the HTTP, whatever your cloud is. And of course, you would check that box or you don't check it as needed. Uh, Cloudian actually defaults to uh, version 4 and virtual host style. Once you specify the credentials, we click test. It's, it's, uh, test it successfully. Basically, check those credentials to make sure they're OK. Click Save. Now we can click on the Browse button. This is the bucket we have access to. Uh, Cloudian was kind enough to create us a demo so that we can display it. Uh, so go ahead and click OK. You set all your different options, what you want to use, how you want to copy it, and so forth. Uh, if you wanted to start this job at a certain time, you can click on Start. If you wanted to repeat it, then you select Repeat. So it's Schedule, you can set it to daily, hourly, every few minutes, however way you need. If you check the box that says Run the job as a service, what basically that does is you don't need to have the application open, nor you need to be logged on. Uh, what it will do is it will just run in the background as a service according to whatever set schedule you set it to. So now that we've created the job, we click on the Save button. Now the job is created. Oh, one thing I wanted to show you was if you double-click on the job here again, this is we have specified to use four threads. That basically we're going to try to copy four files simultaneously. You can increase that if you wanted to do so. Just be wary of you're basically, you're, you don't want to run into bottlenecks, like if your storage can support multiple threads, uh, that will obviously could increase some um, pressure IOPS. And then also you want to pay attention to your cloud, uh, your network. So if uh, your network bandwidth is not strong enough and you try to push too many threads, it might slow you down. So we're going to go ahead and switch to five threads just for simplicity. Click Save. Now you right click and say Start. To start the job, 
now it's queued if you click on the button if you click where it says queued it will show you the progress you can also click on the progress screen here once you have a job highlighted the job should start momentarily it started it connected to the endpoint you notice there are 37 files and it's going through copied already it processed five files it copied them it's going through the throughput obviously these are smaller files so it's not showing how many the this throughput is not strong enough of course this is also copying across the internet uh, 14 megabytes per second if you want to calculate it per megabits it will be eight times whatever that number is it's obviously fluctuating because it is going across the internet now the job has detected 37 files it copied all of them the job is successful if you click here close it it shows a green bar saying successful which basically indicates that the job did not encounter any problems if it did encounter a problem it would turn red like if you couldn't copy one file and if you click on the log file here you under errors you would display what files we encounter problems with in case it's permission issue or retention or whatever the case may be you can fix it and then you rerun the job it will pick it up um, if you wanted to copy from Cloudian, let's say from Cloudian to another Cloudian bucket, or uh, however way you need, you can go click on the source, select S3 compatible storage, click go to where connect as, you can say S3, Cloudian S3, and then you can click here to browse, and then you use the demo. So basically, we're able to use the same exact credentials that was specified because it's stored to the credentials library. Hopefully this was informative for you and let us know if you have any questions. You can email us at support at gurusquad.com. Once again, thank you for watching.